Welcome back. We are coming to you live this morning from the rooftop of our Midtown Manhattan studios this morning. The results are in. Front runners Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton winning big in their home state primaries last night. The Empire State pushing them closer to the nomination. Joining us right now with the American business reaction to the results in a first on Fox Business interview is Harley Davidson CEO Matt Levitich and Sandra Smith is downstairs checking out the 2016 Road Glide Harley motorcycle. So we'll get to that bike in a second. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us, Matt. Pleasure. You reported earnings last night, let, let, yesterday rather. Let, yeah. let me first get you to comment on that. Characterize the quarter for us and what drove business. Well, we're really pleased with the quarter because it starts to reflect the, the pivot that we made to driving demand. And in particular, we showed really strong results uh, internationally, up 4.5%. And importantly, in the United States, we still have a very strong leadership position in market share, almost 51 points. That's up from our historic average of about 45, down a little bit from this time last year. But we've seen intense competition in the United States with the strengthening of the dollar and our foreign competition. So all last year we've been gearing up our resources to get focused on driving demand and competing and maintaining our leadership in the United States in the first quarter showed that as well. So once again, Robert, the international story, real yeah. important for another American company. Yeah, no, absolutely. First, I'm going to say my friends are going to think it's so cool. I'm sitting with the CEO of Harley <laughs> Davidson. I know They're it. They're going to say, figures, you're in a suit and he's a they gene. They finally and, know okay. you are cool, I actually. am cool. Yeah. You'll, you'll be even cooler when you get at on At least you fake it well. So, yeah. so internationally, you did well. Yeah. And, and there's a big argument going on in the election about free trade. I'm on the President's Export yeah. Council. Second Secretary Clinton and Donald Trump are against the TPP. Um, where do you sit? Because I know you're doing really well internationally as well, oh. and you're growing. Where do you sit on free trade? We, we see tremendous potential for Harley Davidson outside the United States. We've been global for a long time. We're already in 90 countries, but the big opportunity for Harley growth-wise is in Asia. Yeah. And a lot of the uh, work with the TPP addresses some of the barriers that are in, in the way of our growth in Asia. And we are a U.S company manufacturing almost all of our products here in the United States, which, you know, is good for America when we can and have a freer uh Trade. And, and then there's a lot of debate going on about the strength versus the weakness of the dollar. And obviously, you do better when we have a weaker dollar, would be my gut. But has that impacted the because volatility the strong of the dollar earnings? Must hurt. Well, the strong dollar, I mean, it hit us, first of all, pretty much every global currency yeah. uh, weakened against the dollar last year radically, you know, yeah. kind of in the 25, 30% range. And most of our competition is non-US, so immediately they have that advantage, yeah. which they've taken typically in pricing, and that's why the competition's gone up so much the US. But what we see, right, is all of our non-US sales, which are typically local currency denominated, coming back as lower profits as well. So it's a double hit yeah. to Harley-Davidson, yeah. and that's why we've really stepped up our efforts uh, to be more competitive. Tell me how you allocate your capital. What do you want to invest in rest of the year? What drives the growth story at Harley going forward? Yeah, well, our, our position on, you know, we're, we're focused on running a strong company and returning value to shareholders. And so the disciplined investments that we make in developing the business for the future and continuing to run it strongly, that comes first, and then we're returning all that excess cash to shareholders, yeah. uh, which we do, which we do at a pretty strong clip, and that remains our focus. But ultimately, it's critically important that we continue to reinvest in the core strength of Harley Davidson Matt, to position us for the long term. You, you were mentioning uh, the largest core of your uh, buyers are 35 and older uh, men. How do you get the you know the younger generation, yeah. the college and kids, women, 21, which is something you've been the women? On. How, how do you well, what are you doing for advertising or changing to get? It's a great people? question, and it's another real bright spot. Not just in this quarter's results, but the work that we've been doing for the past five or six years. We have these outreach segments that are uh, women, African Americans, Hispanics, uh, young adults, and our core customers. Core remains very important. It's almost 60 percent, or a little over 60 percent of our U.S. sales. So those, the effort that we've made in outreach, which is advertising, which is you know dealer training, which is yeah. uh, products, uh, is part of what has helped us move the mix of outreach from about 34 percent to 39 percent. And this bike that Sandra is on right now, or are you actually on the bike, Sandra? <laughs> tell us how the bike is. I got to tell you, Maria, my knowledge of motorcycles is about zero. But this is an attractive bike, and you know, I'm kind of getting a little sick and burnt out on the election. This is a touring bike. It's good for road trips. I'm kind of thinking this might be a good ride for me. Twenty-five thousand dollars. This is a 2016 Road Glide uh, Special. So cool. Yeah. It's a hot a bike. bike. 
That got is a GPS. Hot. Yeah. Maria, Maria, by the way, can you can you pan over here? It's got a back seat. So you and me. Oh, <laughs> let's take a trip. Yeah. I like that. It's Real time. quick, what does that retail for, Matt? It's, it's around twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand yeah. dollars for that yeah. bike. And that sounds like a bargain to me. Matt, yeah. good to see you. Thank Thanks you so much for joining much. us. Matt Levadich there. We'll be